Now I'm going to do a little uh, presentation about how to record our raps on GarageBand and then transfer it to iMovie. So the first thing we do is we go into um, My Songs and um, in our GarageBand app and we click the cross at the top left hand corner and we're going to create a new song. When we do that we automatically go to um, the application with all the instruments and the one that we're looking for is smart drums. Now this picture here is of the old version of the smart drums so if you haven't updated your app this is what it'll look like. If you have updated it it'll look like this um, drums and down in the left hand corner there is, a, uh, is smart drums and that's where you click on. And when you click on the smart drums this is what comes up and what you basically do is drag um, different parts of the drum kit and claps if you want to or cymbals and percussion into wherever you want into the um, <clears throat> where it says drag drums here and you come up with the beat that is going to be the basis of your rap. After you have done that um, then what you do is you press record and you press record you get a four uh, beat introduction you press record and um, it records that drum beat, you'll hear it, and you need to stop it at around <clears throat> eight um, bars. And once you've stopped it, if you can see the, where the blue arrow is, then you need to click on that icon, and what it does, it, it sends you to where the tracks are in my song. So now it's a, um, it's a track, an audio track. Um, after you've done that, the next thing you need to do then is to add your voice. So then what you do is you go back to where it says instruments and you pick the audio recorder with the picture of the microphone. Once you've picked that, this diagram will come up and it says point your iPad toward the sound you want to record and tap the record button above to begin. So when you tap record, um, you'll hear the drum track in the background and when you start rapping it'll record your voice over that drum track. Then you do the same thing, you click the, um, the icon that takes you back to where your tracks are and you can hear um, your voices against the drum track. <clears throat> Once you've done that you might uh, want to add some other effects. You might want to add bass or some percussion and if you go into the loops section you can find some loops which you then can add to, add to your um, song as well. If you need to edit um, your recording you can put sound effects on your voices or you need to make your drums uh, louder or uh, longer uh, or repeated. Um, if you click on the question mark it'll tell you what you what things you can do to edit it. Once you've done that and you're happy with what you've done, so you've recorded your drums and your voices doing the rap, then what you need to do is go back to My Songs and um, you press Select and then you'll see that um, it'll start shaking and you click on um, your song, so my song is my song 11 and you'll see there's a blue border around it and you click on that and then you press the share button on the top left hand corner and uh, a lot of, a few applications um, come up which you can share it to and you're going to go to the one that says copy to iMovie. So you do that, you press it, copy to iMovie, it'll ask you how big uh, you want the file and who the artist is and then you press share. And once you do that it takes a, cu a couple of um, seconds um, then it goes to iMovie and it'll ask you to create a new movie and then it'll bounce it down into your new movie and from there then you can start making your movie. I hope that's helpful. Um, any questions just come and ask one of us.